morning. おはようございます。Let the live notifications go out. It's a little bit of a windy day. Apologize for that. Just flew right over my head. Let's see if anybody tunes in. Yo, Cherry Blossom, what's up? Gino, dude, what's up, man? How you doing, Gino? Welcome to the stream, guys. Pixel, how are you, Pixel? Ohio g o e s i m a s Uh, good afternoon from New Zealand. Hope you're well. All right. Yeah, thanks, Cherry.、Uh, doing okay.、Uh, not too bad. Cynthia, how are you? Good morning. Wow, look at that garden. Very green.、Uh, yo, what's up, Chrissy Pride? How are you doing?、Uh, doing good. How are you this morning? I'm okay. I'm okay.、Um, my eyes. I don't know if you could see that. But my eye got scratched in my sleep somehow. Maybe I rubbed my eye in, in, while I was sleeping and something happened. So there's like this scratch. It's kind of sore. It was red in the mirror this morning. What's up, Karen? Ohio Gazimas. Maybe I'll just wait right here. I've got the nice green background. Yeah. Good morning, guys. I, ooh, someone's cooking ramen or something. Something smells good. Fox Mulder, how you doing? Good morning. Amanda, hello, you made it from a hotspot Seattle without catching COVID. Nice, congratulations. Sneaky Snake, what's good? <laughs> how you doing? Swan Socks, Ohio g o z a i m a s Jason, what's up? Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. <laughs> yup, it's the month of May, guys. It's May 1st here in Japan. Unholy Anime King, how are you doing? Hi, Mom. Good morning. How are you doing today, Mom? How's dad and John Wayne? Yeah, we're just getting started, guys. Letting everybody start to roll in. I am, I am deep in the suburbs. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Drew? How you doing, man? Ohio Gozaimas. Just went live two minutes ago. Yeah, so,、uh, man, my eye. What's up, Ada? Ida, Ada. Um, yeah, I don't know if you could see this. There's like a red line here. I scratched my eye in my sleep or something. I woke up this morning and I was just like, why is my eye so sore? So、um, I'm squinting a little bit, not because of the sun, but because of the pain. But、uh, I do have sunglasses, so I'll probably we-、uh, be wearing that real soon. It's very sunny. Very beautiful day. I'm only wearing t shirt. It's t shirt weather, guys. What's up, Laura? How you doing? Sin Petals, how are you?、Uh, Drew says,、uh, on the train traveling Tokyo, empty, thank God. Oh, nice, Drew. Yeah, I just, I, like, I know you live in Tokyo, so、um, yeah, I live, you know, you know where I live.、Uh, I'm afraid to travel into Tokyo. But it's, what sucks is my job,、um, you know, once per month, they, they demand me to go to their freaking Shinjuku location to pick up my paycheck.、Um, they refuse to wire it to my bank. I have Yucho. Bank account. It's like the biggest bank, well, besides like Mizuho, it's like the biggest bank system in Japan. They have Mizuho and they're just like, no, <laughs> we're not going to transfer it to your bank. You have to come all the way in to Shinjuku to pick up your paycheck. And then the funny thing is, is there's a Yucho ATM deposit in the building right next to their office. I'm like, you assholes.、Um, anyways, let's, uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going, guys? Yeah, I hope everybody's doing okay. Hope you guys are feeling, feeling healthy, feeling Genki, feeling the Genki power. What's up, Jazzy? How you doing? Good morning.、Um, yeah, staying home, staying safe. Hope you guys are doing all that stuff. So I'm just out here kind of stretching my legs for a bit. Near my house, of course. Man, I was on the struggle bus last night. Trying to figure out where 
to stream, where to stream, because um, I kind of, I don't want to go to Tokyo, <laughs> for obvious reasons. And, uh, oh, yo, Unholy Anime King with a $20 super chat right off the bat. Five dollar, or five minutes into the stream. Thank you, guys. Let's get some hearts in chat for Unholy Anime King. He's the goat right there. Oh, it's very windy today. Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. Um, very, very windy. Let me, um, I don't know where to go. <laughs> Sucks going to Shinjuku. I'm worried just stepping out the door where I live besides Tokyo Dome. Stay safe, bro. Yeah, man. It's, uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. The world is in a crazy place right now, so everyone, please stay safe. Drew, please stay safe in Tokyo. Jessica Sandara, how you doing? <laughs> the Moist family. Yes, welcome, welcome. So, uh, yeah, I do apologize for the wind, guys. It is pretty freaking windy today, but it's beautiful. It's really warm. I'm only wearing a t-shirt. It's supposed to be like a high of 25 degrees or something today out here in Chiba. I don't know what that is. That's like, what, 70-something? Uh, Anella with the $5. I get to see Japan without leaving the kitchen. Thanks! Yeah! Awesome! Thank you so much, guys. Hearts and chat for Anella. Yeah, Drew, are you streaming today? If you guys don't know, I don't know if, I don't know if you can click on his name somehow. Go to his channel. Give him a follow. He's also a YouTube streamer. And he lives in Tokyo. He lives by Tokyo Dome. He lives in the Tokyo Dome area. Um, I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. <laughs> where am I going? Uh, Jazzy says, "Oh, we need T-shirts, the Moist family on them. We need some. Yeah, we need some merch, guys. We need some merch. I need to like. I need to chat it up with you guys somehow. And talk about uh, some merch. I know you guys have been asking. What's up, Doomed?" Sandra C, how you doing? It's 68? Okay, that's, that's really good. I'm, I'm wearing a t-shirt. Uh, we'll stream Ikebukuro just for you later. Oh, nice, Drew. Are you going to go to the east side or west side? My, my work is on the east side. Um, literally right by where I saw you that last time, walking around. Yo, Jason with the $5 for the moisty food. Thank you, sir. Arigato gozaimasu. Guys, hearts and chat for Jason. Jason-san, arigato. Stay moist, stay clean. I almost thought that said something else. Like, never mind. Um, yo, Lisa in the house. Good morning from Malaysia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where in Malaysia do you live? Are you in uh, KL? Are you in Penang? Or elsewhere? Yo, Danielle. Danny. It's the egg queen. Danny. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing? Just kidding. She's not the egg queen. She hates eggs. Um, I would wear a moist team shirt. Yeah, we need like Team Moist or something. something. East side right past your workplace? Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that whole uh, animate street area. I forget what they call it in Japanese. Uh, something to do with princess, I forget. Um, the egg hater in the house, yes. <laughs> Uh, so guys, thanks for tuning in. Good morning. Where's Velvet? Where are we? Oh, there's Velvet. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> what a coincidence. That was insane, Danny. You're like, where's Velvet? And literally the next comment was Velvet. How you doing, Velvet? You did summon him. Or her. Him or her. I, I, I actually am not too sure. Yeah, so let's go ahead and uh, begin the stream, guys. Uh, now that uh, I think uh, notifications and stuff have gone out. The egg isn't moist, that's why. Oh, oh, oh yeah. So I hope you guys can hear me. The wind is, it's, it's a bit windy today. But uh, we're, we're getting out of the house today, guys. It's a beautiful sunny day. I know some of you are stuck at home. So we're just gonna get out. We're gonna get out, see some trees, and we're gonna go back in time. And I'm, I'll explain that later. We're going to go back in time during this stream. Uh, and we're also going to see a woman using a tilling machine. Let's turn the camera around. Yeah, so she's on this school property, making a little garden. Velvet is Alexa, so it's assumed. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, Lisa says, uh, I'm from Johor. Ah, southern part. Have a nice day then. Alright, yeah, thanks Lisa. Thanks for tuning in. So everybody tuning in and you have no idea who I am or you're watching the recorded version of this uh, live stream. My name's Corey. I'm an American, but I live in Japan. I'm from Japan. Navy brat, born and raised here. And uh, we are um, in Chiba Prefecture, northeast of Tokyo. And we're walking around uh, my neighborhood. What school is that? I have no idea, Velvet. It's, uh, I think it's an elementary school. But uh, if, if you're looking for reference for the Google thing, right here is the Matsudo Athletic Park. <laughs> so I'm on the east side of it. Do you have your mask with you? Pixel, I do. I do. Um, I'm not wearing it right now because of the beginning of the stream. Plus, uh, there's not too many people right here. I'm also keeping... Uh, social distancing, I think, is the most important part. Oh no, I'm late. Hi. No, Jetta, what's up? No, we, we just started 11 minutes ago, so you're good. You are good. Yeah, so... Um, once again, I apologize for the wind. It is really windy today. Again, as always. Chiba is just, in general, like a very windy prefecture. It faces the Pacific Ocean. Well, not here, but, you know... Anyways, it, it's, it juts out into the Pacific Ocean. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying right now. I'm not, a, I'm not a cartographer. I'm not a geographer. Is that a thing? A geographer? <laughs> um, going back in time, we're doing it Back to the Future, Bill and Ted, Doctor Who, Star Trek, or Superman style. I think we're going to do it with the TARDIS. Maybe TARDIS style. Well, actually, you know what? Um... I think we're doing it capsule core style. We're traveling back in time the way Trunks did. Uh, oh God, sorry, there's like chat that I'm missing. Uh, Jazzy says, how do you get your watermark at the bottom right hand corner of the screen? I have a watermark? <laughs> oh, you mean, is it my face? Yeah, that one's through YouTube. And it's just, uh, it's a thing, if you click it, then you subscribe to the channel. If that's what you're talking about. There shouldn't be any other watermarks. Yeah, my mom says, uh, please, thumbs up. Thumbs up the video, guys. We're trying to break 100 likes. If we can get 200 viewers, we need to get 200 likes. Future trunk style? Yep. Exactly. Yo, Nosh in the house. Yeah, it's in the YouTube studio. If that's the watermark that you're talking about of my face, and it says subscribe underneath it. Yeah, other, there shouldn't be any other watermark. Anyways, um, yeah, so today, guys, we're going to go maybe to a convenience store or something. We're going to get some snacks and drinks, and then we're going to go travel back in time. And I'll exp I will explain that um, in a little bit. Yo, CN Naka, how are you? Like number 31. All right, Laura. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the thumbs up. Yeah, so it's a uh, Friday. It's um, like 10:20 a.m. Very beautiful day. What's up, Rocky? You're inspired? Yeah, Danielle. Oh my God, it's crazy. Now that I play Animal Crossing, everywhere I walk, I'm just like, that is a thing in Animal Crossing. <laughs> like uh, gardening stuff, little little items. I'm like, why doesn't the balloon ever drop that? <laughs> I want that. Uh, Addy, konnichiwa. How are you? Hi, everyone. I'll be dozing on and off. All right, thanks for dropping by, Addy. What are those flags for? Flags. Flags. Oh, here. Uh, it's kind of a neighborhood thing. Um, uh, how do I explain it? Like, some of them say, like, stop uh, perverts, like child perverts. Uh, others are like, just stop crime, or if something's suspicious, report it. That kind of stuff. It's like an awareness campaign. Mr. Swats, how you doing? Uh, Fushi, I'm sorry I don't know German, but hello. 
Guten Morgen, is that how you say good morning? Atit, how are you doing? Good morning. 57 chat, hit the like button, everyone. Yeah, let's try to get like 200 likes. Nyanya, good morning, good morning. So everyone, uh, I hope you're staying healthy in your house. If you're, if you have no option but to go outside, I hope you uh, practice social distancing, wear a mask, that kind of stuff. Um, I know I'm kind of a hypocrite right now because I'm not wearing a mask, but that's because uh, there's really not that many people around here. And um, yeah, so where, where am I right now? This is a forest, it's Olympus Mountain. Olympus, uh, Irimp <laughs> Olympus no Yama. Hawaii is slowly opening back up, but very slowly. Yeah, are they still, uh, are they still cracking down? What's up, Spiraling? Are they still cracking down and fining people like a thousand dollars? You could have said those flags represent the hood, each gang's repin, just for shits and giggles. I could have. Are you close to a campsite? Velvet, uh, mm, not, you mean the Boy Scout campsite? It's kind of in that general area, but that's, it, it's, uh, maybe, yeah, 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 I think you're right further up in that trail. I can't go in it. It's Boy Scout territory. They have it all locked down. You get to go back to work next Monday. Ooh, nice. What the flip? Is that a palm tree? Was it a palm tree? Uh, it, it was a palm. You're right. And here's, there's another one up here. So, just out here experiencing the nature. The nature, guys. Let's go into the woods. I would if I could, but they have it all fenced off. Unholy, you had the virus? Were you really infected? I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you're okay now. Checking out on the visitors who are breaking the 14 day quarantine. Okay. Yeah, I know. I got, you know, I get choke friends in Hawaii and they're like posting on Instagram, like going to the beach and like all this stuff. And I'm just like, what are you doing? Why are there palm trees in Japan in the middle of the woods? I don't... Someone... Someone brought this here. Or maybe this is the first palm tree ever on Earth. And from here, its seed spread across the world. <laughs> Hawaii's still cracking on violators, uh, and even as far as t talking about putting ankle monitors on incoming visitors. Wow. Yo, Jeannie, Kim, how you doing? Crazy windy in Chicago? Of course, it's Chi Town, the windy city. Um, but how you doing? Happy you're out on a beautiful day. Yeah, if you guys are stuck at home, I hope this video serves you well. We're um, we're just in my local neighborhood area, just kind of chilling. We're gonna go try to find a convenience store. And uh, oh, doggy! Yo, Tatiana, how are you doing? Good morning. And, um, yeah, we're going to get some goodies, and then we're going to go back in time. <laughs> I think that's like the third time I've said that. It sounds so dumb. Um, it's unusual that palm trees are in Japan. Yeah, look, here's another one. I'm, like, positive they brought these and planted them here. Oh, wait, actually, probably not. There's some that are just, like, randomly in there. Yeah, they're randomly in there. Maybe someone just threw a bunch of seeds, of, like, a couple decades ago. Danielle's drinking that wine. Nice. Yeah, it was a Shiba Inu. What's up, Ben? And Palma, how you doing? You had a high fever and cough and headaches? Damn. I mean, are you okay now, though? Everything's okay? We're going back in time. Yeah, this is it. This is it, guys. Back in time, before civilization, there was nothing but this. Trees. Trees, trees, trees. Um... These trees were felled by the, the typhoon back in October, the super typhoon that came through here. The writing on the street is a uh, tobidashi jump. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's, it's uh, that sign is just telling people like, you know, be careful of like children that just jump out, like, jump out in the road. Um, there are palm trees all over Okinawa and Ogasawara. Why not mainland? Because 
I don't know why. <laughs> I was going to say something funny, but I actually don't know why. No, it's all good. Very resilient tree. Uh, man, I really wish we could go in here, but they just have it blocked off. Kind of sucks. But this isn't our loca- this isn't like the destination. It just happens to be along the way. Stegosaurus hiding behind that tree? I know. I can hear- I can hear them over there. And I'm gonna get pounced on from the side. Clever girl. Uh, Tatiana, you've been struggling to sleep? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. My sleep was pretty messed up last night. It's really warm now. Last night I had to actually open all my windows and pull out the fan. I was borderline going to turn the air conditioning on. So we going back in time. Explain. Alright, alright, alright. I should explain. Um, so after we get drinks and stuff from a store, drinks and uh, food, whether it's a supermarket or a convenience store, uh, I'm just going to drag this answer out very long and force you to listen to me. No, I'm just kidding. Um, there's a there's another area. We've already been there before. We went there in the fall. It's called uh, the, the uh, what is it? The 21st Century Park or something like that. Forest 21st Century. And uh, in there they have um, a prehistoric like settlement. Like a, like, a, like a replica of a prehistoric settlement that was discovered in that area. There's a lot of actual prehistoric settlements um, of Japan found here, you know, dating back like six, seven thousand years or something. People that lived in these grass huts. So um, that that's pretty much the explanation there. We're gonna go check that out. Uh, Nash has uh, been struggling to sleep, but mostly because I'm weak-willed in playing FF7 remake. Yeah, I wish I had PlayStation 4. I gotta wait for it to come to PC. It's not gonna come out till next year. Um, May 5th is Children's Day here, and so in Japan, they hang these uh, koi fish. And so these are just some small ones that people bought, and they hung on the side of their house. But there's some other ones that, like, the fish are huge. Huge, huge, huge. They're like 30, 40 feet, and they're hanging from really high poles. Uh, Goya, how you doing? Hope you had a nice week. How's the weather? It's beautiful today. Uh, it's like 22 or 23 degrees Celsius right now, and it's just continually getting warmer. I'm wearing a t-shirt and pants, and I kind of wish I was wearing shorts. Yeah, Cinco de Mayo in California. Mm -hmm. That's so cool about the fish. Yeah, um, hopefully we see some large, really large ones. Because uh, in my near my house, I, there's one house that has like this really really giant pole, giant flagpole, and they have some really large uh, fish hanging from it. Um, I've actually never been over here, but this is probably not going towards a convenience store or anything. Yeah, listen to my mom, guys. Give the thumbs up. Uh, I'm gonna backtrack this way because I think. Uh, Mm, actually, you know what? Screw it. We've never been over here, so let's go. Let's check it out. Is it Boys' Day? I thought it was just Children's Day. Koromo no bori? Is it Koi no bori? Oh my god. They were panicking in Japan, it was crazy, and I was hit and really scared a hurricane. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Danny was actually here in Japan, in Kyoto during that time, in October, during the super typhoon. Alright, what's this way? Yo, Jeff, hola, how you doing man? Greg, uh, Gregory Lawson, how are you? Uh, it's Koi Nobori. Yeah, okay. It's been so long since I've said any of these Japanese holiday names. I kind of like forget. So it's, it's just Boys Day? I thought it was Children's Day though. 
like for both boys and girls. Or no, wait, that was Hina Matsuri? Or Hina, uh, Hina, what, God, I can't, ugh. As you can tell, my Japanese is all rusty. Uh, you don't have to be a subscriber to hit the like button. That's true, but it would be nice if you subscribed as well and helped me, helped me get a little bit closer to 100,000 subscribers. That would be uh, much, much, much uh, obliged. Wait, uh, wait, that's the wrong expression. Um, it would be much appreciated. There we go. Yo, Tom Nichols from D.C. How you doing, man? Where in D.C. you from? Uh, did I ask you that question before? Uh, there's this little park kind of area. Let's, let's take a look at it real quick since we're outdoors. They got some tulips. Children's Day, you're right. Okay, it is Children's Day. Yay! I got something right. <laughs> But it's not, it's, it's koi no bori, and that's Children's Day. Okay, roger that. Slide, uh, no, there's no playground here. It was just like a garden with a sitting area. Oh, it was formerly Boys Day, so they just made it Children's Day. Ah. Oh yeah, Revenge of the Fifth. <laughs> yeah. Tulips are your favorite? I know, right? Subscribe to the Moist family. I know. Greg says, uh, where are you? I am walking down some back streets in the middle of nowhere. Not really middle of nowhere, but uh, I'm in Chiba Prefecture. This is uh, not too far from my house. And um, just helping uh, those of you who are stuck at home during quarantine or during lockdowns uh, to feel a little bit better and feel like you're outside exploring Japan with me. Yo, foolhardy, how you doing? Uh, Northwest. Northwest side. Nice. I used to live in Foggy Bottom for four, like almost four years. And then Arlington for two. Yeah, May the 4th be with you. That's the other one. But May 5th is the Revenge of the 5th. Are you near a train station? Uh, no. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, there's a... Looks like people are coming down this trail. Let's go check it out. Laura, yeah, the um, the super typhoon in October was bad. That was a really bad one. It messed up all the train lines and stuff. People were trapped at Narita Airport for like four or five days. There was no water, no food. Um, they couldn't leave the airport. They couldn't fly. It was bad. It was a bad situation. Um, a lot of places were without power. A lot of trees were knocked down. Um, do, you, do you want a to get an award if you reach 100k I mean I don't need a reward but I mean it would be cool <laughs> I think that's when they give you your silver play button moistly with Corey May <laughs> that's the new channel name is it I miss nature I wish I could feel the breeze yeah there's a very beautiful breeze here um, but uh, this is kind of messed up. There's actually a lot of trash. <laughs> um, you know, Japan's like a very clean place, but look at this. There's just like trash. Like I feel like I'm walking on a like a landfill or something. Uh, Albi says, "How long have you been making YouTube videos?" Uh, for a long time. This channel goes back to October 2012. But um, I actually had a channel before this one. And I was uploading videos from Hawaii as early as 2009, or no, 2010, I think. Did you just say button? 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 Button! You want to push my buttons? <laughs> Yo, Jong Pong, long time no see. How you doing? If it's for uh, Sam says if it's 4K, it would be perfect. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't stream in 4K. That's a, that's a lot of data to be uploaded and encoded live. Maybe there's a homeless guy that lives in the forest. I'm not sure. Uh, I know exactly where I'm at though. 
took you through a forest before, down that way, and uh, down that way is actually also the Boy Scout camping ground entrance. Yeah, we've we've been here before. A sponsor Cory Docomo. I do have Docomo, but they don't have unlimited plans here. NTT Docomo, uh, their max. Uh, is 30 gigabytes a month. SoftBank is uh, 50 gigabytes a month. But I didn't like SoftBank's plan, so I went with NTT Docomo. And I just wish I had like a Wi-Fi sponsor instead. Yeah, so we've been here before. We came here in like the fall, I think, or at the end of summer. I forget. But we're revisiting it now. Pretty sure John uses Kokomo and has a 60 gigabyte plan. Oh, Dokomo. Was there a, is there a 70? The st I, I went to Big Kamera and they, they said uh, 30 was the max. So that's what I went with. So maybe he got his locked in from a long time ago. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, just letting you know what I have <laughs> and what they told me. Uh, yo, Kim, how you doing? Old subscriber just realized that... Uh, back to Japan. Is there any video on YouTube explaining why you're back to Japan? Yeah, if you go back, there's a there's a live stream video from Vietnam and it says something about like life announcement or something like that. Yeah, where is Danby? Sometimes you see these political posters like hanging out. Wow, can you guys hear the breeze coming through the leaves? It's so nice and calming, guys. I'm wearing a t-shirt, it just feels so nice on my skin. I hope I can still use SoftBank's network when I visit now that T-Mobile merged with Sprint. Oh, Riri. Oh, Riri. Yeah. I just need like a Wi-Fi sponsor like I used to have. It used to be helpful. I mean, yeah, it is helpful. <laughs> it was nice to have that back in the day. How do you get sponsored? Um, I could reach out to these networks and uh, make a deal. I reached out to one and they want me to still pay. And uh, they want me to pay the money and also advertise for them. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's, is that really a sponsorship? You're just looking for free advertising. <laughs> You're make, and while me paying you, not you paying me or you giving me a free product. So still keeping my eyes open. Imagine this at night, what the heck? Yeah, I've actually ridden through here at night on my bike. It's really cool. Once you hit 100k, you'll get it. Yeah, I used to have an iVideo Wi-Fi sponsorship. For a while, our JVloggers were getting sponsorships from iVideo. Yeah, I used to have iVideo. But um, I'm going to tell you right now, I think I mentioned this before in a different stream video did me dirty they sponsored me while I was in Vietnam and then they reached out and they wanted to sponsor me while I was you know when I first moved here they're like oh welcome to Japan uh, would you be interested in a sponsorship thing and I was like yes yes like I've been working with you guys for one year in Vietnam I would like to continue that in Japan and they're like cool uh, you just needed to come to our office in uh, Ueno and then uh, drop off the the pocket Wi-Fi that for Vietnam, because that one's specifically for Vietnam, and then we'll give you a Japanese one. So I went there, and then the ladies were so rude, and they're like, they're like, why didn't you turn this in in Vietnam? I'm like, you guys mailed it to me, and you guys said I could come here. Someone from the Taiwan office told me to come here and give it to you guys, and they're like, yeah, but that's not how you do it, and they were being like super rude, <laughs> and then, um, yeah, Jeff was there with me. Jeff Liu was actually there with me, and then uh, it was weird. We had to wait for a very long time. And then uh, the company kept reaching out to me with these spam emails. They're like, "Do you want to be? A, do you want a sponsor, uh, sponsorship with iVideo?" And I kept responding, "Yes, yes, please, yes, please, please, <laughs> like, give me that sponsorship." And then they never replied back. I was just like, "Man, that what? Ter I'm terrible." Swan Sox was here since the beginning, since the very, very beginning. 
Um, let me pick up the pace. My goal was to go to a 7-Eleven or something and pick up some drinks and snacks and then go to the freaking prehistoric place. But I kind of got sidetracked on this, this road. I still know where I'm at. It's just a little bit of a detour. Sorry, guys. It was hot as fuck that day, too. Yeah, it was August. Last summer, man. Can't believe it. What's on the menu? Uh, that's a good question, Nash. Uh, I think we were just going to go to a convenience store and just grab some kind of quick drinks and snacks. Uh, and just like a quick bite to eat or something. And then take it with us to the park where the prehistoric homes are. Valen says, please don't delete this live when it's finished. Oh yeah, I never do. I, I won't. Trust me. You can come back and watch it over and over and over and over. Hmm. Yeah. Let's see. I'm trying to think of where a, a convenience store is. I don't want to go to the park before going to a convenience store. It would be nice to have a drink, a snack. Uh, in that case, I might have to head out this way first, go buy something, and then come back. Okay, I think that's the plan. Are these gates in Animal Crossing? I promise this is the last time I mentioned No, don't worry. Mention it all you want. I'm still terraforming on my island. Uh, Dan, what's up from Vancouver? How you doing? Thank you for loving the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, Subaru? Yeah, that white Subaru. It's pretty nice. Had some red highlights on it. Subby! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the last time I walked here with you guys, uh, I think was in the autumn. At the end of summer or something like that. And this field was full of leeks. And now, they're all gone. They've all been harvested. Yo, Matthew, Matthew how you doing? Do people look at fun you when you're live streaming or are most people used to it? Cheers from Ontario. Uh, it depends. Depends on where I go. Oh, Nosh with the $20. Whoa, it's weird it doesn't show up on my phone. Stickers don't. Um, thank you, thank you, Nosh, guys. Let's get some hearts and chat for Nosh. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Arigato gozaimasu. You guys are helping me continue doing what I'm doing here. My, uh, because of the whole coronavirus situation, <clears throat> my work hours have been reduced because uh, my students are afraid to go to class and uh, a lot of them don't want to do the online option. They prefer face-to-face -face instead. And our school is all, all our schools are closed across Tokyo. We only offer online. So my, my work hours are like really low. How many hours do you guys want to guess I worked in April? Ad revenue is way down. Actually, ad revenue went up for me. Uh, more, more people were watching my channel since February, so it actually went up for me. So I've actually got a lot more revenue, but uh, I did hear that it's actually down overall. 30... Danny, it's because you know the answer. The answer is 30. I worked 30 hours for the month of April. That's how low. That's how little I worked this month because of the coronavirus. Danny, you're cheating. <laughs> she knows because of Discord. I, I talked about it in Discord. Uh, where's the food? Where's the food, guys? There's the hospital. We're near the forest where we want to go to. We just need to find a, a kombini. I think there should be some out this way. They don't want to do online. They prefer face-to-face. -face. Yeah, exactly, Jetta. They just don't want to do schoolwork. I don't know about that. It's just they're like... I don't know if they're... Tech I don't know really what the reason is. It could be their technology impaired or they're just like not comfortable with showing their house or... You know, maybe they don't have a webcam or something. Like, there's so many different reasons. 
Um, some people just, they want, they told me that, yeah, we like face-to-face -face only, so we're not going to book the online. Uh, when, we, when I was still going to the, to the school, and then uh, some of them who booked earlier on, they had like one online class with me, and they were like, yeah, this is really weird. I'm not going to sign back up until the school opens again. So, bye. And so they essentially just were like, screw you. Okay, there's a 7-Eleven. I see one. You work part-time and work 30 hours in a week? Yeah, so that, that's telling you the kind of working situation it is right now for a lot of uh, English teachers in Japan. Bye, Corey. Happy the Vietnam video. All right, Kim. Take it easy. What's the name of the hospital? That's the Matsudo General Hospital. Uh, you like to find the only part of Tokyo with no convenience stores or vending machines? Well, it's not Tokyo. It's uh, Chiba Prefecture. <laughs> We're in Matsudo. Jessica, you gotta work 69 hours a week? Wow, that's pretty long. Yeah, 69 hours is like very specific, <laughs> first of all, and it's also really long. I think the most I've ever worked was like 60, not 69. Or have I? Oh, um, too bad, need to go now, my phone battery's dying. I'm sorry, Nyanya, take it easy. Thanks for dropping by. Are most convenience stores 7-Elevens, or are there different companies? Um, there's a variety. There's Lawson's, 7-Elevens, and uh, Family Marts. There's a Daily Yamazaki, and there's a Mini Stop. There's several different brands. Uh, Sun K Us, or something like that, I forget. What's up, Roger? <laughs> Jason's comment is exactly what my like my thinking. 69 giggity. Oh. That guy's cruising. Does Japan have unemployment insurance? Uh, they have some kind of system in place. I don't know the details though because I'm not unemployed. I'm just working really, really reduced hours. Sun KS always uh, weirds me out with the typography. Yeah, it's like Sunkus or something, right? But the K is huge. I haven't seen one for a very long time. There's a daily Yamazaki in Matsu, like by Matsudo Station, but uh, most of the ones, uh, the konbini near my house, they're all 7 Elevens and Family Marts, and there's like one Lawson's. Or maybe two. Are you close to Zenita Park? Because I think we found the 7-Eleven you're heading towards. Uh, I have no idea the names of these parks, man. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so guys, we're going to go into 7-Eleven. We're going to try to get some snacks and drinks. And we're going to take it to the prehistoric village area in the park. Um, just a heads up. While inside here, uh, my stream might buffer. It might, it might not. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So just hang tight, okay? And uh, I have to hold my phone a little bit down so it's not like so obvious that I'm filming because you're not allowed to film on the door of all these places. They say no, no pets, no, no cameras, no outside food, that kind of thing. You're on Team Family Mart? Nice. Uh, crispy chicken from 7-Eleven, something chewy. All right, we'll have to look for something like that. All right, we're going with some wide angle here. It's time for some cheeky. The crunky chicky. The crunky chicky was not that good. <laughs> Alright, let's go in, guys. Alright. Get in a basket here. Whoa, what just happened? Aniel with the $50 super chat. Guys, let's get some. Oh my god, thank you, Aniel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Arigatou gozaimasu. Really appreciate that $50 super chat donation. Guys, you guys know what to do. Spam hearts and chat right now. Wow. Oh my god, Aniel, how are you? Thank you. Moist? Okay. Uh, let's. Hmm, what kind of drink should I get first? Yeah, Aniel, 
thank you, thank you. How are you? You guys just, to everybody, you, you guys always make my day. Donations are not, but um, thank you. I really appreciate it. Tea, pineapple juice. Do they have pine? I don't know if they have pineapple juice here. Maybe in the summer they do. All of them. Tea? All right, I see a lot of tea. So let's get some tea. Grape juice? Do they have juice? They might have grape soda. Oh, there's... Yeah, there's this premium Fanta grape. Something peach? Uh, you guys said this before. There was never... There wasn't something... Oh, well, there's peach water. <laughs> Greg's on it with the actual address. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, no soda. So let's get some tea first. Um, what kind of tea do I want? I kind of am feeling um, a mugicha. Yeah, I hear that jazz. Or we could go with the, the seven herbal thing. I think we did this before. Green tea? Green tea's nice, but I wanted something different. I drink a lot of green tea. So I was thinking of some kind of like uh, like barley tea. It's you and Mom Game's hard song. Oh snap! Seven herbal tea for working 69 hours. <laughs> and I found a location. Thanks for giving me the address. I want you to remember what we talked about streaming. Oh, what did you talk about? <laughs> oh, you you mean not as long? Yeah, yeah. If I want to stream more per month, I need to stream less per stream. Um, there's a beer. These are all beers. What, what kind of, should I get an alcohol drink? We should get like one alcohol drink. Called out by your mom? No, no, because, uh, you know, we were, we were just talking about data. Like, I have 30 gigabytes to, to use per month. And uh, a three-hour stream uses six gigabytes. So if I do a shorter stream... I could stream more throughout the month, you know what I mean? Milk coffee is pretty good, but um, but I am lactose intolerant, so no milk for me. Stream less, you lose our sanity. Yeah, no, just in like instead of three hours, like stream for an hour and a half instead, something like that. So that way, I could stream twice a week instead of once a week, something like that. Yeah, I'm not really sure what I should drink here. Nothing milk. Uh, what is this lemon guy? What is this guy? I've never seen this before. It's a lemon sour. Are we listening to City Pop? Yeah, Valen, I do have an Instagram. If you go to my YouTube channel, um, there's an About section. It has all my social media links. We have 107 viewers. Oh, nice. Thanks for the update, Benny. Uh, what's up, everybody? Let's try to get those likes over 100. Yo, Russell in the house. Annyeonghaseyo. Annyeong. Yeah, orimmanyeo. Let's try this lemon sour. I've never seen it before. It's new. 7% alcohol. Alright, we'll try that. I feel like we should get like one more thing, but maybe this is enough for now. He doesn't answer his IG though. No, Jetta, I, I get so many DMs on Instagram. Sorry if I, I sometimes I just look at it and I don't respond. Desserts. These are all different kinds of like parfaits and stuff. Um, 
trying to see. Uh, no, these are not good. Let's see. Uh, we've got ramen noodles, dry noodle snacks, um, Pringles, black pepper cheese, black pepper cheese Pringles. Never heard of that. Um, what else should I get, guys? There's chips. It's nasty, don't get it? Yeah, um... Maybe I'll have to get some food out of the counter thing. Yeah, we'll get some chicken and... Maybe a minced uh, beef cutlet. Oh yeah, and then we also have to go to the onigiri sandwich area too. Yeah, we'll get like one of those little minty katsu things and then... Um... What's the brown looking doo doo thing? Uh, that's very, uh, very vague. All right, we've got uh, different sandwiches here. Strawberry cream sandwich. Uh, there's egg salad sandwich and tuna. Mm, what kind of bentos do we have? Maybe we should get one of these kind of bentos, huh? Like a salmon or something? Salmon, rice, and tempura. Maybe this is too much. We, we need a bunch of small things. So we can try more things. Giddy with an egg. Rebecca, one of the uh, convenience stores, one of your favorite parts of the live streams. They're so good. Uh, this has got uh, some salmon roe inside. Pickled plum. This is uh, with uh, stir-fried noodles inside of it. Soba, yakisoba inside. Should we get the egg? I kind of want to get the fish egg. Let's get the fish egg. All right. And... Uh, and... I'm gonna get something from the counter. We'll get the nana chiki. All right. Yo, way back, boys TV, how you doing? From Vegas, how you guys doing? Uh, sorry, chat, there, there might have been a lot of questions I missed. For obvious reasons, I was in the store. Is she missing a pinky? Was she? Are you wearing a Dragon Ball t-shirt? I am. <laughs> I am wearing a Capsule Core shirt. Uh, enjoy your snacks, my brother. Yeah, Anna, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. D Lee in the house. Where are you? I am in Japan. Um, we just went to a 7-Eleven here, and we picked up some snacks. Whoa, there we go. 
had to take it off a wide lens. Now we're going to go to uh, a very big, uh, beautiful park. We're going to get some more nature into our stream. And uh, we're going to also visit a like, prehistoric settlement area that's in that park. There's just like a recreation of the historic settlement, but uh, they discovered some things around this area, so they built that. But um, yeah, Greg's like, this is exactly where you are. Here's the address, 1565 Sendabori Matsudo Chiba, and the area code. <laughs> Damn. Do Japanese pro people protest just for stuff to open? No. No, they're not. They're not doing the, the stupid protesting thing like uh, American some Americans are doing but yeah guys sorry about that that delay I should have gone to a convenience store much earlier but now we can uh, go straight to the forest and have a good time it's crazy here bro uh, I believe it I believe it I know I watch I read the news and I watch the news every single day and I just facepalm so hard about those protesters in America. And then I heard, like, in Kentucky or somewhere, there was a, a group of the protesters. They're like, reopen everything, reopen everything. And then, like, the majority of those protesters got infected. <laughs> and I was like, you guys are dumbasses. All right, how are you able to follow Corey so precisely? No need. Uh, it's not that hard. Once you, once you figure out exactly where I'm at, then uh, once I start moving and turning, like, I walk straight, I turn right, I turn left, it's actually fairly easy. Plus, there's a lot of landmarks. Angel Rivera, 50 bucks? What? Was there a 50 buck donation from Angel? Are you talking about NEL? Sorry for the wind, guys. Uh, it is a nice windy day. Oh, God. You have freedom in Japan. Uh, so you could say that no lockdown for you. No, even if it was locked down here in Japan, it's still stupid when people protest. There's no vaccine, and there's not going to be a vaccine for a long time. So to protest to go back out and get everyone more infected, that's fucking stupid. I'm sorry, but that, that's really dumb. And I'm trying, I, I try not to get angry about things, but I'm talking about the health of the entire population here. Uh, any, uh, any, I'll go to 50. I, I did see it when I was in the um, convenience store, and, I, and really, really thank you so much for that $50 dono. Yeah, landmarks. Okay. Uh, so this is Matsudo General Hospital. Yeah, Psyduck, I timed you out for five minutes, okay? I didn't ban you. You can still watch. But please refrain from from those kind of comments. I don't have my moderators in chat right now to help me uh, do that kind of stuff. So I'm not banning you. I'm just timing you out for five minutes, okay? All right, let's go to this forest. Oh, wait. Lots of bikes. Yeah, this is uh, for the hospital parking, you know, people visiting, rel oh god, people visiting relatives and stuff. How much does it cost? This is free. It's free to park here and just come and visit your family or friends or whoever that are staying in the hospital. But I think if you want to park your car, you have to pay. Make Daniela mod? I can't do it from this, um... Yeah, I can't, I can't make Daniela mod from this app, unfortunately. Anyways, guys, let's continue. Uh, one of the rules 
in my, my chat is uh, please show each other respect and uh, no conspiracy theories or anything like that, no religious or political talk. Can you rent a moped in Japan? I think you can. I'm pretty sure you can. I should try to rent one. I actually need to get my license here. Um, my Maryland state driver's license is actually uh, one of the few American state licenses that are uh, exempt from the road and written test. I could just show up, pay the fee, and then I'd get my Japanese license. But the, the only reason I haven't done that is uh, because I don't have a car. <laughs> There's no need for it. Uh, look at this. There's a testing station right here for COVID. Can you do a bike stream? I thought about riding my bicycle today, but I think it's just a bad idea. Cycling with one hand and holding the stabilizer in the other and then trying to read chat. I would probably crash. Yo, AJ Nerd Swag in the house. Long time no see. This is a subscriber from back in my Korea days. My Korea live streams. How you doing, AJ? Is uh, nuclear power and Fukushima still discussed there? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, there's still a large area near the reactor that's just completely locked down, like you can't go there. Um, but there's some other areas where people have started to kind of go back in um, to live and stuff. And so there's still talk about like if there's another earthquake, like it, it, everything's going to break down again. So people are wary of moving back to the, like in that region uh, right by the reactor. So yeah, it, there, there is some discussion, but maybe not as much as like a few years ago. Is Maryland's test tougher than others? I don't know. When I took it, it was easy. Spain had their women's march and thousands of women attended and many got infected from the Wuhan virus. Oh no, beyond change, that's sad. Yo, Kong man in the house, what's up dude? Yeah guys, let's try to get the likes. Like as many, we're at what, 109 viewers. So if we could get 109 likes, that would be awesome. Okay, we're almost to the park guys. This is the edge of the forest. Moderator in the house. Yeah, Danny, can you, um, can you, uh, like, just talk to Kong in Discord? Like, DM or whatever, and just let him know what happened, just so he's aware. Brian says, okay, I liked it. Okay, nice. I have set the dislike to dissolve you if you <laughs> Nice. It's the edge of Jurassic Park, guys. Yes, we're going to go back in time. We've got our snacks. Now it's time. Man, it's so beautiful, guys. I really wish you were all here with me. Just out here enjoying this fresh air. Blue skies. The breeze. Anna says, I love Chile. It's so beautiful. Ooh, I would love to go there. What's the road say? Uh, back there? Um, I'm not sure what it said. <laughs> I, I can't see it. I, I can see that there's kanji on the road, but I can't. I'm so far away from it, I can't read what it says. Yo, what's up, TARDIS? <laughs> Is that mo- uh, oh god, can't read it. Is the Masashiro line behind those set of trees? Yep, that's it right here in front of me. Why is the road painted red? Uh, I think it's for, uh, what do you call it? Like, let people know to go slow? <laughs> I truly believe you can live longer in Japan. Yeah, Okinawa has the largest uh, number of centenarians on Earth, and they attribute it to their lifestyle and their diet. There's just like a whole bunch of people that are over 100 years old. And that's where I was born. I was born in Okinawa, so I kind of maybe want to adopt like a, an Okinawan diet. Blue, what's up, Blue? You're hot as, uh, you're hot in Arizona. Oh man, I feel ya. Yeah, follow the red, <laughs> red brick road. Wait, what is the song? Follow the yellow brick road. Okay, I messed that up. Is that supposed to be a tori? <laughs> is that? Is it? What? 
You were stationed at Kadena? Oh, nice. My dad was at Kadena. I was born at Foster or Leicester, whichever one has the Navy Hospital. That's where I was born. It was a mini toddy, right? It was like like a baby little mini toddy. Why was it there? So there's like a like a soccer field here, or should I say football? Football field. Uh. Aresilis says, uh, enjoy watching your videos. You're the few who do walks for us. Oh, I'm so glad that you tuned in. Welcome, welcome. We'll still follow your streams when you're 100. I would love to be 100 years old and streaming. It would be weird if I streamed my death. I'd just be like, all right, this is it, guys. I'm 100 and 184 years old. It's time. Let's live stream. Keep those those super chat donations coming. <laughs> is it Foster? Okay, Foster is the one with the uh, Navy Hospital. Yeah, that's where I was born. Born back in 1981. Uh, let's cut across this parking lot. I'll be dead. So sorry. Eh, it's okay. Uh, Kim says, now I remembered I followed you since you were living in Korea and somehow I didn't see your video for a long time and now you're back. I need to see all your videos. Wow, Kim, that's a lot of videos to watch. There's like two years of videos from Vietnam, plus the ones in Korea that you missed, and then uh, a bunch of live streams here in Japan. Okay, the forest is right there, guys. We're reaching our destination. Is this an old parking lot? It is. This is caveman, like, like prehistoric parking lot right here. This gravel is ancient. This is like, I don't know, like Neanderthal, Cro-Magnon style. bring your net to catch bugs since Flick is on the island? I don't know if Flick's here. Where's Celeste? This used to be a river, yes, a dry riverbed. I didn't even know that you were living in Vietnam for a while. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I lived there for uh, just like almost exactly, well, just, just shy of two years. Did you bring your shovel with you? I did. Backup shovel. You're heading towards a uh, Two Park, aren't you? Yeah, it's the one. Um, it's like the 21st century forest park or whatever it's called. Japanese Flintstones. Careful what you say about my relatives. Your your relatives are the Flintstones. <laughs> The Flintstones dubbed in Japanese, that would be amazing. Oh no, is it closed? Oh, this gate is closed. Oh, okay. Uh, we gotta go to a far, a different gate. Why did they close this gate? There's people in there. Are you going 80 miles per hour in the DeLorean? I am, but you can't time travel unless you hit 88, baby. Okay, that sucks. Why did they lock that gate? I gotta walk all the way, like all the way down to the other gate. No, no, there's there's people inside. Look, there's a dude walking right here. And I saw, I saw a family walking in that direction. But why did they close this gate? I don't understand. Everything's dead already? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I can borrow the TARDIS? I wish. Uh, look at the the new, fresh, young leaves on these trees. They're so, like, neon green. It's so nice. To reduce traffic in the park? Well, it just makes everybody go to one entrance. And it's like, wait a minute. It's not really reducing, is it? Jump over the fence. I totally would. Watch your bottle, yeah. 
It would suck to fall on this fence. It's so pretty. It is. It sucks to be at the park and you're just like on the edge, like literally on the edge. Like I'm actually holding the phone over the edge. You guys are in the park. I'm not in the park. I'm so jealous of you guys. You guys made it into the park before I did. <laughs> Yo, Kong with the five dollars. The Cory has been fed. Thank you, sir. Arigato gozaimasu. Guys, hearts in chat for the Kong man. Oh, it's a dragonfly. Where's my net? Yeah, you guys were in the park. You guys want to go in the park again? Yeah, there's all these uh, azaleas out and stuff. Um, who's that kid walking alone in a red shirt? What? Oh, there was two kids that walked by. I didn't see a, like a solo person in red. GWSN are the girls in the park at night. Well, I don't know what, what does GWSN uh, mean. Is that water to the left? Yes. So there's a lake. We actually streamed here before back in the fall. We came here to watch the beautiful fall colors. And uh, our stream kind of effed near this building. Kind of was buffering. But uh, looks like we have to go all the way to the main entrance. The dude in the front has some swagger. Oh yeah, his shirt's tucked in. His belt's up to his tits. He's got that good, that good swag. Yeah, that's the Sendabori Pond. Yeah, this is. Uh, wait, no, 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 no. This is not where we ate with those dogs. The the Zaru Soba. And then the, the uh, King Spaniels. Yeah, that was a different park. Yeah, there's a bunch of people in here. So, uh, by the way, this it is Golden Week here in Japan. It's like a week-long holiday. Um, the government did ask people to... God, it's so windy. The government did ask people to not go out during Golden Week. But I'm going to show you right now in this park. When we go in there, there's like all kinds of families picnicking and strollers and children playing. Are we close to the entrance yet? <sighs> Not yet. It's all the way at the end of this road. I don't know why they closed that gate. It's so dumb. Japanese homes here on the right side. What is Golden Week about exactly? Uh, I forget the history of it, but um, essentially it's like, you know, springtime. It's like spring break. And to enjoy the beautiful weather, the flowers, the trees. A lot of people travel around the country, or they go to other countries too, but um, a lot of people travel around, go to the beaches, go to uh, mountains, go hiking, go check out nature. But uh, for the history of Golden Week, I'm actually not sure, but I think uh, Wikipedia or something could probably tell you. Sorry. Oh, 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 oh. Did not expect to see this. Lots of spider webs. Wow, this must look really cool in the morning with all the like the morning dew on it. Look how much there is. There's a lot. Sorry for all of those with uh, arachnophobia. I am so sorry. But I love spiders and I think this is so cool. I love uh, I miss Japan. When is the Tsukiji Outer Market going to open? Um I have no idea. I have no idea. Most of that fish market moved over to Toyosu. And then what's left now, um, I don't know. I haven't been to the Tsukiji area since summertime. <laughs> what the hell is this? 
Sorry, guys. Poison, it's Posen. <laughs> Oh yeah, red shirt girl, hello. Okay, you guys are talking about uh, Golden Week. A series of four national holidays that take place within the week at the end of April. Meaning of May, it's often considered a time of vacation, yeah. So I think uh, the Japanese government was trying to um, ask a lot of companies to give 12 days of holiday and also ask people not to go out. And uh, of course, uh, we're gonna see exactly how people listen to requests by the Japanese government. And it's such a tease, I can hear the park on the other side, I can hear it, I can smell the park's grass. And I can't see it. So I'm trying to walk like fast here so we can get into the park. But look at that, look at the bamboo. Just back, oh don't kill it, just back away fastly. Spiders are great, they, they eat mosquitoes and gnats and cockroaches and other things. <laughs> are we there yet? <laughs> are we there yet? Are we there yet? How far from the entrance? Uh, just a couple hundred feet. We're almost there, almost there. I need to go T1000 speed. Yeah, I need to walk, uh, run with my arm, my hands like pointed outwards for the most aerodynamic positioning. Out of context, if you don't mind, what's your nationality, American? Yep, I'm American. I'm Korean, half Korean, half, uh, half white. Dad's from Chicago, mom's from Seoul, and uh, I was born and raised in Japan, but I have an, uh, I've, I've been an American citizen since birth, and I have a U.S. passport. Yeah, look, it's the Animal Crossing wall, the Zen wall, or whatever they call it. Zen fences, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're on the same wavelength, Danny. Why are you saying damn it? <laughs> so this is a, a historic gate here, actually. I don't know the, the name of this gate, but this is an old gate here, dating back to the Edo period. And they even have a historical marker right there in the white, a little white pole. So it's pretty cool. MTV Japan Cribs with Corey May. That would be fun. That would be super fun to me, uh, to film. Mr. D.L. Rue, how are you? Do you need to get a green card or something? Uh, no. I have a, I have a visa. I have a, a working visa here. Aha, okay. Oh, please tell me this gate, why is she standing there? Please tell me this gate's open. Please tell me this gate's open. It's close. What? Kuro gate. There's only one gate open. They closed four gates and they only have one open. So we gotta. Oh man, I'm sorry guys. Okay, we gotta backtrack. Oh, we gotta, not backtrack, but we gotta keep going. We gotta go to the other side. Dude, that sucks. I know where the other gate is, it's just, it sucks that, um, that I didn't know this beforehand. I'm like, I'm like tempted to really just jump the gate here, or jump the fence. Just fast forward the YouTube video, yeah. <laughs> and Blue's like, just jump the fence. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about it up here where these stairs are. 
if there's a chance, there's no one around, I might just jump the fence. <laughs> throw us over first. Yeah. I'm gonna toss you guys over the fence. I see that you have to go to another block. Yeah, there's, um, there's this road. It's on the other side of the road, but, um, it's, it's a short walk as well. Entertain me and burrow under the fence. <laughs> Play ignorant tourists. Be like, this is how we enter parks in America. We just hop the fence. ready to like jump the fence over there but there's someone coming it's the Shinkeisei line yeah I think so these fences right here are tricky <laughs> don't even think about jumping obey the law all right we got to listen to my mom <laughs> yeah, I gotta behave. All right, let's uh, let's try to jog over there. We'll, we'll try to speed this up. Sorry if the video's a little shaky, even with a stabilizer. Yeah, Mama May says, "Don't jump." We can't make the Mama upset. Very nice though. Hitchhike. <laughs> Hitchhike. The gate that they're talking about that I need to go through is just up ahead, like a little bit. So. Ludicrous speed. Go! Alright. I gotta Naruto run this. Run, Corey? Uh, no, I don't. I ride my bike, though. Uphill, impressive. <laughs> Stabilizer's doing great. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> you can feel your brain going to your feet. Love these references. Space balls. That guy's mask. He just took off his hat and covered his face. <laughs> That's a big park. Yep. Yeah, we got to turn left here. The entrance uh, should be right. So we came around and up. Okay, so just a little bit more. Yeah, either he didn't want to be filmed, or he doesn't have a mask. And he just used his hat over his mouth as he walked by me. Water, water, water. Yeah, okay. Now luckily we got that tea and that alcohol. <laughs> I see. Oh, my shorts is bigger than yours. <laughs> Nice. The fossils in the park are not old. They're just the remains of people who tried to find the exit from the park. Oh no! Is that actually the truth? I think Matthew's correct. Yeah, this is the residential area. There's actually a road that cuts in the middle of this park. 
So the entrance to the park should be over here. What do the words say? Oh, uh, there's a chat delay, so I looked, I turned around, I don't see any words. Sorry. You could have taxied it? No, and then pay like $17 to go this distance? No way. No way, no way. Japan taxes are expensive. Is it, uh, is it this way? No, wait. This is the road that cuts through. Okay, so yeah, I think it's this way. Oh, go straight over the bridge. Okay. Go straight over the bridge. Thank you, thank you guys. <laughs> One hour later. It's gonna be May. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Unexpected park gate closures. I didn't know that that was gonna be a thing. I don't know why they closed all the gates except for one. They're just forcing people to um, bottleneck through one, one little gate. Are we lost, Corey? Uh, not lost, but we're just, we don't know where the entrance is exactly. Turn left there. Oh, back at that building. There's something hole 21. Okay, maybe this is the entrance, huh? There should be a library around here as well. We're lost. It's just funny, I actually started rewatching that show, Lost. I'm still, I'm almost finished with season one. I used to have the box set, I think I still have the box DVD set back in the States. There's like nobody here. <laughs> Is this the right way? Doggy needs out. All right, Anella, we'll be here. Library's on the left, yeah. So I knew there was a library around here. But where's the walking in entrance for pedestrians? Oh, is it straight ahead? Oh, please tell me this is it up here. Golfing Country Club? I don't think so. Let me in the park. Let me in. I just want to eat my food and drink and talk to chat. <laughs> Say this way, keep going forward. All right. Uh, everything is closed. Like the parking lot's empty except for one car. Um, but yeah, I think this is the main parking lot. This is probably where they want people to uh, enter the park. There's the Shinkeisei Pink Line train. Hall of the Forest is on the left. Yeah, that's what this big building is. Um, so we got some uh, security patrols. Uh, guards, not patrols. Yeah, so this is it. I can see people walking in. Please run. It's the Keisatsu. Keisatsu. Ah. We made it. Oh, hello. The local farmers. They sometimes sell their veggies right here, but they're not here right now. Yep, 
Are you going to get these hedges? In Animal Crossing? Ah, oh, no worries, Velvet. Thank you. To all of you guys uh, helping me out and keeping me company. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Man, it is hot. I should have wore shorts. Uh, worn shorts. Yay, English grammar. Social distancing date. Is that a thing, really? Wow. So there's a road that cuts through the middle of the park. You can see the cars going by. I want to get to the other side of that road because that's where the, the prehistoric village thing is. Old folks living on the edge. Oh, I think there's a tunnel here that goes underneath. Okay. Yeah, okay. I see the tunnel. How do we get to it? Ah, right here. Uh, Raphael says, what part of Japan is this? This is uh, Matsudo in Chiba Prefecture. Yo, what's up, Steven? Borrow that moped? <laughs> yeah, we need to quote-unquote borrow the moped. There's this uh, interesting sculpture. It looks like a turbine kind of a shape. You're amazed? Uh, they will go for a walk and shout at each other from six meters apart. What? That's funny. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so, yes. Uh, I hope the stream doesn't cut out when we go underneath here. Yeah, it says internet connection is unstable. <laughs> yeah, did we F? We should be out. Okay. Yeah, in the tunnel, the, the signal went out a little bit. Sorry, guys. Okay. So we made it to the other side. Let's... Let's go up into the forest. Wait a minute. How do I get into this park area? Do I have to... back on the street. Is there another gate? This was the only gate, right? Man. Do I gotta go back down? I think I gotta go back down. Damn it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Yay. Best stream ever. We have 119 viewers watching me just try to figure out how to get into a simple park. Time for that hibiki. Ooh, hibiki is pretty good. You were just about to cue the Jurassic Park video uh, music. <laughs> okay, running through the tunnel. Yeah, if we get 200. Oh, hello, 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 hello. Alright, we're good. Um, yeah, this place is confusing. It's because they locked the freaking gates. All of them except for this one. Okay, so... There should be an o underpass up ahead that cuts over. What was up with that? A guy turned around, saw me, and started jogging. Stephanie, hey, yep, that's the mission. Wait, is that bamboo? Uh, you mean the fence thing? Maybe. Hi, Tammy, how you doing? 
Yeah, uh, social distancing. Yeah, probably. But, uh, you know, so going back to my original point, the Japanese government can't lock down people. They can only ask people to not go outside, especially during Golden Week. They said, please don't go out. And here we are at the park, disobeying the kind request of the government. And uh, so are the rest of these people. He saw 117 people behind him? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, Gregory, thank you. I have a feeling I know exactly where I'm at now. Yeah, so if I cross underneath the, the thing, what is going on here? AC fan, how you doing, Marie? Follow the old dude? Nah, he's, uh, he's breaking off to the right. But um, yeah, so there's a big park area here, just big open fields. There's people playing soccer and frisbee. Families picnicking underneath the shaded uh, parts of the trees. Whose child is climbing that structure? I don't know, Danny. Do we need to throw rocks at them? Yeah, nice day for disobeying, for sure. Yeah, it's a statue. You thought they were real? You need to put your glasses on, girl. The bird sounds? Sounds like crows. <laughs> They're just like a bunch of crows cawing. Oh, Danny, you drinking. Okay, I see what's going on. That explains everything. So yeah, we're at the park, guys. And uh, I'm trying to go up into this forest area on the left because there is um, some old kind of like mock prehistoric village of what used to be around here. What's up, Sean? How you doing? Day drinking Danny. <laughs> it's so peopley, I know. There's just like people chilling in the park. Okay, okay, I think I think we can go this way. The trail's open. Oh no, never mind, that's a work uh <laughs> it's the groundskeeper's little area where they keep all their machinery and rakes and stuff. Oops. All right, so guys, uh, this is it. We made it into the park. Thank you to Greg and Velvet for helping me, to everybody for cheering me on and not giving up. And now we can end the stream. All right, bye. No, I'm just kidding. Um, we're gonna go up to the prehistoric area. There's a place I think we can sit down and have uh, our drink and food. Yeah, Animal Crossing in real life. Uh, who's leaving? Someone's leaving? Pixel? Oh, no, never mind. Oh, you were saying bye to me. <laughs> Lots of good spots, indeed. So it's still pretty early, you know? It's, uh, it's probably almost lunch, uh, noon, like lunchtime. But uh, guaranteed, later on in the day, this is going to be packed. Kirsten, how are you? So there's some nice flowers. Let me go look at the flowers real quick. You guys want to look at the flowers? Are there ducks? Feed some? Uh, not right now. I don't see any ducks at all. Can people swim there? No, definitely not. Al Morale, how are you doing? Meme, Momo, welcome back. Oh, there's a kid with a net straight ahead. He's out here catching bugs for his island. Oh, there's a duck right there flying. Where's it going? There actually was a duck just flying now. We'll go try to see that duck real quick. Yeah, these flowers are very pretty. Was he 
catching that duck? He might have been. But yeah, they've got the azaleas in bloom. Um, this guy's checking out all these spider webs right here. Ninety-nine cents from Kong. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Is it the Resident Evil symbol? There's like way too many people here. Even though they're social distancing, it's like, please just go home. There's like a lily pond here. The quarry has been vandalized. Wait a minute, what? heard something jump into the water. It might have been a frog. Uh, what park is this? It's so nice I want to visit it. Uh, I think in English it's called like 21st Century Park or something like that. Forest? 21st Century Forest? I forget the exact English for it. But it's in uh, Matsudo. Do you have your mask on? I do not. Um, I'm, I'm keeping away from all these people like at a pretty good distance, but uh, if it seems to be a little bit more clustered, then I'll definitely put my mask on. But right now, there's nobody around me. Yo, Marie with the two dollars, uh, two euros, thank you, thank you. So beautiful here, thank you, Corey, you're welcome. For those of you locked down, I hope uh, this little nature walk can help uh, lighten your spirits. What's the temperature there now? It's like probably 25 degrees Celsius. If not higher than that, um, it's really, really warm. I think it's caterpillar webs. Oh, is it? I'm gonna. I'm just gonna assume it's spider webs because spiders are cool. Okay. Um, hello, hello. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, can't read your name. Something cool. <laughs> Do you watch similar live streams of people from different countries? Uh, Matthew, yeah. Oh, shit. Had a had a bug fly into my face. Um, yeah, there's a there's a guy does a pro walks. I think his channel is called Pro Walks, and uh, he's from Italy. He does these really beautiful walks all around Italy and Europe and stuff. Um, but that's that's it pretty much. I don't really watch any other channel. I don't really watch YouTube that much. Like as a YouTuber, I, I really don't watch YouTube. <laughs> um, I used to. But now I just like watch a lot of shows and stuff. Prowalks is awesome. Yeah, I remember Prowalks when he had like only 5,000 subscribers. Something like that. He was walking around Pompeii and uh, Napoli and the Amalfi Coast and stuff. And now he's got like well over a hundred thousand viewers, so it's very cool. Ame ageru, oh agaru, oh. These steps are uh, spaced apart just long enough for me to have to stretch my legs pretty far. Let's get you to 100,000 viewers too. It would be nice. Uh, one day. We'll see. I gotta probably make more videos, not just live streams. All I do is live stream. So I just, I'm so tired of editing after seven years on YouTube. Just like, I just enjoy live streaming because I get to interact with you guys in live time, you know, real time. And I don't have to edit. <laughs> so it's like best of both worlds for me. Can we take a moment to enjoy these trees? Let's do it, Danny. Sid, how are you doing? We're in the forest. The forest of the 21st century. Very 
nice. I want to see a stegosaurus. <laughs> yeah, we gotta, we gotta go. Bear Grylls voice. We are in the 21st century forest. I, I can't do a British accent very well. We're in the 21st century forest. And if you're ever stuck out here, you have to drink your pee. Okay. Good try, <laughs> bravo. He's got like that kind of like wispy, raspy voice a little bit. I'm Bear Grylls, an ex-military paratrooper and survivalist. My, dr my English accent sounds more like a drunken soccer hooligan. <laughs> yeah, two hours later, wow. So, uh, what the hell? They put these, uh, like, silver tarp things on top of them. These were not here before. Now they just look like giant space nipples. A soccer hooligan? Like with, like, a Scouser accent or something? So, yay. <laughs> this is it. They they put a... Yeah, we can't go inside of it, unfortunately, but uh, it's just a recreation of the old, like, prehistoric human settlements that were in this area. I wish I could go inside, but I can't. And then uh, when I was here last summer, they had uh, no no silver tarp on top here, but now they do. So now they just look like UFOs <laughs> instead of like straw huts. Moist space nipples. Yep. Made from what? Bamboo? Uh, it's like, um, it's like, uh, reeds? Dry reeds? Straw? I don't know exactly. Straw or reeds? Anyways. Space yurts. Yep, the police is patrolling. He's making sure no one's inside. Here's the copper. He's actually an alien, and he arrived in these UFOs from Lost in Space. They kind of do, right? Yeah, they got drain holes too. Your ancestor's house looked like that? Are you an alien? Well, this has been an interesting stream, guys. Uh, the mini park gates are closed, and now that we arrived to the past, um, there's future space nipples. <laughs> Take me to your leader. What's up, Lost? You're a hologram? Oh, snap. So, yeah, this is, uh, it's, it's kind of disappointing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's still cool, though. I had, I had a good time walking here. The past is closed. The past has yet to happen. Yeah, so very beautiful sunny. Can we find fossils now? Yeah, we should just start digging. It would be weird to find like an Indian arrowhead digging in Japan. You're like, what? What is this doing here? Um, so up ahead, there's these uh, picnic benches. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sit at one of them. And we're going to go ahead and uh, drink a little bit and eat. I'll talk with you guys. Samurai arrowhead? No, but I mean like uh, like specifically it would be crazy if there was uh, Indian arrowheads. Uh, oh, this is a game. It's like ring toss. Can you see it? It's these little reed rings. And then uh, you toss it onto the, the little poles right there. Should we try? Let's play. Yes. Um... How do I get the, where's the best angle?
All right. Okay, so I don't know if you can see me or hear me. There's a line right here someone drew. So we have to... Uh... Done. Let's try this again. We're going to try again. Oh, that's fail. There's one. Oh. Epic fail. Don't trust me to hunt for your food because we're going to starve. We're definitely going to starve, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, fail. <laughs> Super fail. Uh, I got two. Two out of six. That's uh, Those are good odds, right? Put us on the pole? Uh, I don't think I can. Uh, with my tripod thing on the bottom of my stabilizer, I don't think it's going to actually work. Hold on, let me see. Maybe. Yeah, this it's too precarious. Like if the wind blows, my stabilizer is gonna fall right off, and then you can't tell if I made it or not. That's less than half. It's okay. It's better than zero, right? You gotta think about positive things, guys. Think positive. Don't do it. Yeah, I, I'm like, like it's balanced now. But if the wind blows even just a little bit, it's definitely gonna fall. We can survive off of Cheeky for a week? Yeah, I think so. All right, let me try to see if I can uh, show this a little bit better. The Nihon log cabin, yep. Prehistoric log cabin. Maybe this might work, I don't know. We'll see. If it falls, I'm so sorry, guys. I got one. I got one. I got one. Right here. I did get one. <laughs> Yay! We're not gonna go hungry, guys. We're gonna catch some some aminals. I'm a hunter. We've gone prehistoric. Ring toss champion. I know. I used to play horseshoe toss a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Um, yeah, so there's these uh, benches here. Let's go ahead and sit down at one of them. We're gonna go ahead and try out some some snackies. That was fun. Prehistoric one one arm bandit. Okay. Your form was amazing. Ten for artistry. You guys are so nice. I know this is way over on the west side of Tokyo uh, by Noborito Station. They have the same huts like you were trying to show us. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's in Kanagao. Oh, that's over near Kawasaki. Wow, very far. Um, wow, a new game for the Nintendo Snitch called Manimal Intersection. These are also in Manimal Crossing? Wait, are they? Is it buggy there? Uh, surprisingly, there's... I mean, I had a bug fly in my face earlier. Oh, there's a... There's one little guy right here. Focus. Focus. Why doesn't it focus? There we go. Ah, nature. Oh, he's got the leaf. Oh. No, he's like, 
screw it. I don't want this leaf. I don't want it. I don't want it. Your skin is itching, ew. No, he's cute. He's gonna blossom into like a, a moth or a butterfly. He makes webs? Is it him? Is it really silkworms? They might, you might be right, Laura. I'm just gonna pretend they're spiders though, because I like spiders. Um, yeah, so. Looks like a bagworm, oh. Bugs are icky. No, they're not. No, they're not. All right. Okay, I was scoping out underneath the bench, underneath the table to make sure there were uh, no spiders right by my crotch. Them's nasty. Yeah. We got our Mugi Cha. This is a barley tea. It's one of the greatest teas ever. Yo, Awkward Aquamarine, how you doing? Welcome back to the stream. Just woke up. What are we doing today? We went back in time. And then, uh, actually, we kind of went forward into the future. It was, it was a weird thing. I can't explain it. It was really strange. You hear an announcement? Yeah, I hear it too. In the distance. I don't know what they're saying. The park, they have an announcement usually like 30 minutes before they close. But there, there might be another uh, thing that's just telling people, hey... I know the government told you guys to stay at home, but now that you're here at the park, social distance. <laughs> Do not feed the dinosaurs. Yeah, probably. All right, we've got a barley tea. We've got this uh, lemon sour, a new lemon sour drink. Never seen before. Can you guys hear me? Maybe I should move it a little bit closer. Yeah, maybe it's a little better with the, this distance. And then uh, we did get a, a chiki. And uh, katsu. Wait, this one's the chiki, and then a katsu thing, uh, like a menchi katsu. You hear me fine? Okay, should I move back? <laughs> if anyone sees a Korean American with 100 friends, please contact the police. They are social gathering. We are. All right, let me, uh, hold on. I'm thirsty. We gotta just drink this barley tea. Yo, Caitlin with the 499, thank you for the train home. Arigato gozaimasu. Actually, I can walk home from here, but uh, I really appreciate it. I will use it in the future. Let's get some hearts in chat for Caitlin. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Do, 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 do. Wow, it's far away. I'm surprised that you guys heard that. This microphone must be really good. Is that a bear behind me? <gasps> oh my god. Almost. Yeah, if you guys can get your hands on some Mugi Cha. Um, it's barley tea. They sell it in the States at like, uh, uh, what do you call it? like H Mart and stuff. In Korean, it's called Bodhi Cha. Um, in Japanese, it's Mugi Cha. But um, this is like one of my favorite, all-time favorite teas. Like I grew up drinking this stuff. My mom always had a picture of this in the fridge. And when it gets cold in the fridge and like on a hot day and you come back inside and you drink a nice glass, oh my god, it's so good. It's so thirst quenching. <sighs> There's a little bug. All right, so. Is it sweetened? No, no, it's uh, unsweetened. They, you don't sweeten these kind of teas at all. It's not bitter either. It's um, it's like earthy. I don't know. Earthy is the is that the right word? Yeah, it's it's not sweet and it's not bitter. It's delicious. So let's uh, crack open this uh, katsu. This is a meat. It was called Tasty Meat Katsu. That's literally what it was called. Miku Umakatsu. Um, she gave me some sauce for it. Uh, Chao Ang. Hey, what's up, Tom? Xin Chao. There's full of insects or mosquitoes? Uh, Ati, surprisingly, no. No mosquitoes yet. But there was a mosquito in my house two days ago, and I was like, what? How? How did this happen? <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot this. We got uh, also the onigiri that has uh, salmon, salmon meat, and also salmon roe, the eggs. I love how sugar-free teas are in abundance in Japan. I always get the uh, itoen oolong tea or the green. Yeah, those are good. 
Uh, hey, Danny is okay. Sorry, just reading what you guys are typing here. Barley tea, popular in Singapore. Yeah, barley tea is fantastic. I think it's like really popular in Asia. I don't know about other places. Oishi so. Yeah, where's my little sauce? Where's the moist towel? Yeah, they didn't give me a moist towel. Yeah, sometimes they give a moist towel, but this time they didn't give a moist towel. I don't know how many times I'm going to say moist, but since I can, I am going to. Remember to like, share, uh, subscribe, and share. Otherwise, I will continue to sleep under your beds at night. <laughs> Kong, that is so scary. But yeah, I appreciate the support, guys. If you guys haven't already given this video a thumbs up, please do so. Um, I think we uh, already have 111 likes. And uh, I don't know, we're trying to reach 200 likes. It would be cool if we had 200 viewers, but I don't think that's going to happen today. No moist toilet. No, no moist. No, nothing is moist here except for my mouth and my pants and uh, this, this katsu. Alright, so they give a little, little katsu sauce here. What's up, Jeff? Konnichiwa. Hi, genki desu. I'd be washing my hands with tea. Mm, I would, I'd be taking a bath in tea if I could. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, ooze, ooze. Oh shit. Now is when I wish I had a, a moist towelette. Okay. So, itadakimasu. Lick it. It's really moist. Wow. Even after all this time of walking, from the store to, to this park. It's really good. Um, let me try to show you guys. Focus. Focus. There we go. So the inside, you can see the glistening moist meat. Oh yeah, look at that. Look how moist that is. It's so good. Moist rating, uh, probably a 7 out of 10. It's not ultra moist, but it is uh, pretty moist. I wonder if I squeeze it, like, juices will come out. Oh yeah, yeah, I see some juice. Look at the moist juice. I see the moistness. Yeah, I got pretty moist there for a second. What are you eating? Danny, <laughs> where have you been? Did you miss? I'm eating, um, I'm eating, a like a minced meat katsu. Some girl took a bath on YouTube in tea? Maybe. Are you asking me or telling me? Oh, I see. You're telling me. We happy? I thought you were eating the chicken first. No, no. That means you're not paying attention. <laughs> so yeah, we'll we'll have a bite of the chicken. Ant near your neck? Is there really? I wouldn't be surprised. The breading is pretty good. Nice and crispy. The inside, minced meat, good flavoring, very moist. You gotta love these convenience store like foods from the right from the register. Um, hold on, I have a tissue. What is that again? It's called Niku Umam Katsu. It's a it's a katsu. It's like a breaded meat patty that's been fried. All right. So I don't have a wet tissue. I don't have a moist tissue, but I do have a normal tissue. Komini food is so good in Japan, like real good, legit. It is. You are absolutely correct. Um, okay, I just wanted to check uh, something here. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and try that chicken. Oh wait, wait, wait. We got we got to crack open the the lemon sour. Do you like the various pickles? What are your favorites? Oh, I love them all. I love all of them. All the different skemonos. Oh, there's a little... 
there was a small spider on on the drink. Yeah, the, the different kinds of uh, tsukemonos and stuff, um, pickled eggplants, onions, cabbage, like radish, like so many different types of pickled radishes, um, umeboshi, so many things. Yo, Sabi in the house. What's up, Sabi? What are you having today? Uh, we had, um, we're currently eating some minced meat katsu, and we're going to have uh, an onigiri with salmon eggs on there and a little bit of salmon meat. We've got uh, some 7-Eleven fried chicken. I'm about to crack open this this drink. The bug weather report is crazy. There's no no mosquitoes here, so it's pretty good. How you doing, Sabi? Bug on your strap? Oh yeah, I see it. I see it. What is this guy doing? Oh, it's an ant. Yeah, where'd he come from? Yeah, it was an ant. A little black ant. This is part of part of being in nature, guys. All right. Lemon sour. Cheers. Thanks so for much for this. Uh, thanks so much for the stream. Got to hit the hey see up. All right, loose uh, loose screws. Take it easy. Thanks for dropping by. Ant in your pants? Maybe. Maybe something in my pants is the size of an ant. All right. So this is the the chicken, the Nana Chiki. So 7-Eleven has Nana Chiki. Family Mart has Fami Chiki. Um, and I think uh, Lawson's just calls it Chiki or no chicken? <laughs> I've heard El Chiki. I think they call it El Chiki. Yeah. Yeah, so, nice one here. Something in your pants the size of an ant, LMAO. <laughs> you know how I roll. I roll tiny. Uh, Fami Chiki is better than any other Japanese Chiki. Really? Lawson's Chikis are pretty good. The 7-Eleven one is pretty good, too. Hmm. Looks so good. Any sauce? No, they don't. They don't really have a sauce for this kind of stuff. It's just, um, it's just like fried chicken, but it's boneless fried chicken. Lawson's got that soggy chicky. No, that's that's Family Mart. Katakana sounds like abusive English, but it's so uh, too funny and satisfying to figure it out at times. Yeah, there's a there's some. Some words that you're just like, what? <laughs> and when you realize what it means in English, you're like, that is so crazy. Wow, it's really windy right now, guys. Sorry. Ah, I hit in the face with something. Must protect my drink from falling objects. Family Mart has that A1 chicky. A1? That's the lowest grade. Isn't A5 the high grade? <laughs> Oh, take it easy, Kong. Thanks for dropping by, man. Have a good one. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Let me show you. It's pretty moist. Leaves blown in the wind sounds amazing. Focus. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so you can see inside, it's breaded, it's pretty moist. It's not as warm as it was, uh, was like when I first got it. Yeah, Lawson's has the El Chiki Shio. Or, wait, what? Do they also have the spicy too? Oh, that's the kanji for, yeah, okay, never mind. That's the spicy kanji. Okay, uh, why are they called kombinis? Is it a mix of two words? It's just the Japanese way of saying kombinient, but they shortened it to kombini. Kombinient. And I don't know why they don't call it like bendi, which is Japanese for convenient. <laughs> but they, they use the English, I guess because it sounds cooler. Capsule corp uh, Corporation on your t-shirt? Yep. Oh, got the Capsule Corp. 
You got a rep. Okay. Hmm. It's like a meat renaissance. It is like pasocon for personal computer. Yeah, pa pasan pasano pasanode and computer pasocon. There's all these different fusion words. They're pretty funny. Kapsuru <laughs> hotel. Yeah, like love hotel. They just say labuho. Labuho. Love hotel. Like like driving on Oahu went out of business. Really? What? I used to go there all the time. Damn, that sucks. I'll try and let you uh, you know when I see you again. Oh, okay. Uh, you guys are talking to each other. Uh, Goya, you gotta head out. Alright, take it easy, Goya. See you later. Mm. Alright, so there's an elderly couple playing the ring toss. I don't think they got one on there. <laughs> Not even close. It's pretty cute. Yeah, they're elderly. Hmm. Ah, so those two are really good. Um, I'm gonna try to put them off to the side. They need a love hotel. <laughs> They need a labu hole. Uh, I'm gonna grab some brunch. BRB? Alright. Okay. So I put, I didn't finish those. I'm gonna finish them later. I'm just trying to try all these different things on stream for you guys. Okay, so the last food item that we have is this, which has the, um, uh, yeah, sake to ikura. So it's a salmon plus salmon roe egg. Dabu ho teru. That's too long. You gotta shorten it to just dabu ho. <laughs> dabu ho. Let me try to show you guys this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Some carbs finally. Yeah. Focus. There we go. So you can see some salmon meat on on the side there, but uh, there's the roe on the inside. Rabu <laughs> Ho. Oh, snap. What's up, Ramsey? Pretty late to the party, but you're here. Yeah, welcome, dude. Yeah, so I love salmon roe so much. I love it like in onigiri. I love it on rice. Like, it's just so good. I love the saltiness. I love when the balls pop in my mouth. And I just get a burst of saltiness in my mouth. Yeah, so we. We peel down the top and then spread spread the lips. I don't know why I just called them lips. <laughs> or do I? Yeah, so this is it guys right here. Look at those glistening eggs. Glistening. Oh yeah. Itadakimasu. Mm. So yummy. Man, Greg's got addresses for days. All the juice shows. Here's the nearest love hoe. <laughs> There's probably one like right across the street. The rice looks flavored. Yeah, so the rice is um, probably got a little bit of soy sauce mixed in with it. That's why it's kind of brown. And then they also have the salmon flakes mixed in with it as well. So there's, you can see inside there's like pieces of salmon flakes sticking out. <clears throat> a 
Ramsey out of the blue with the alien isolation <laughs> talk. <laughs> You're still playing that game, huh? Super well made, yeah. And this is cheap. It was 140 yen. So it's like, I don't know, like a dollar twenty-five. They don't make this at the 7-Eleven. Um, yeah, these are made somewhere else, and then they shit. Like, all of the stuff is made somewhere else. Um, the only stuff that's not made somewhere else is, uh, like, the fried chicken. They, um, they fry it up, like, on spot. But it's, like, it's like frozen. They receive it frozen, and they just, like, deep fry it at the register. Ichijikan <laughs> gosen en desu That's very expensive. For one hour? Jesus. I know a place you can get... Four hours for half that price. Oh my god, a black hop helicopter flew so dang low and close to my home. Really? It's kind of scary. Are you going to get some cheeky this weekend? Yeah, do you guys make this kind of stuff? Like, for those of you who have been to Japan, do you guys make Japanese food at home? Like, do you make uh, your, like, onigiris and bentos and stuff? Especially those of you who are like locked down and whatnot. Can you put a price on love? I know, right, Steven? I don't think so. Addy says, Corey knows the hourly price. I do. <laughs> it's just because I, I work in Ikebukuro. It's like, it's known for its red light, like, love district. <laughs> there's just, there's hotels everywhere. There's hotels on my work block everywhere. So I always walk by the signs and I'm like, why is this one 3,900? And this one over here is 2,500. But you, they're like next to each other. I'm like, what? Like, what's the difference? Because they both look nice on the outside. I've got that membership card, yep. I go so often, I get the, um, I get my member card stamped. After 10 times, you get the free, the free go. In Southeast Asia, if you have power outages, love hotels were the place to go. Oh, really? Yeah, in Vietnamese, they're called Nha Ni. And um, they were everywhere, but I've had power outages and I never went to a love hotel in Vietnam. <laughs> oh, they have generators. Oh, I see, I see. I just wrote it out. I just had candles in my house. Uh, Diego, what's up? Uh, speaking to me in Korean. Annyeonghaseyo, Korea. I can't read that, it's so weird. Spain o Marheo. Spain, yeah, an Marheo. Yeah, Yeah, Spain o Moteo. He only speaks Spanish, but he's talking to me in Korean. Um, that's pretty awesome. Uh, your apartment in Vietnam was really unique. Yeah, I had two different apartments there. Uh, both videos are on my channel. Um, the first one was nice and spacious, but... Oh, excuse me. Nice and spacious, but the construction behind it was so bad that uh, after only seven months, I broke my one-year contract. I was like, I'm out of here. I can't sleep at night at all. Hello, Corey. Greetings from uh, Argentina, Buenos Aires. Do you speak Spanish? Oh, you're translating the thing. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. Yeah, Greg, why are you copying and pasting this, Greg? I, I read it already, and I responded. Uh, I told him I don't speak Spanish. That's super cool he speaks Spanish, but said it in Korean. Yeah. You guys can talk to him in Spanish. If you, if you guys can speak Spanish, by all means, communicate with each other. I can't speak Spanish. Yeah. No habla español. <laughs> Bueno. Where? What are you asking where? There's a live cam on YouTube? Oh, okay, you guys are talking about something else. Um, okay, so I'm going to try to finish. Hello in Spanish is hola. Yeah, hola, hola, <laughs> hola. Um, oh, yongoro malheo. Now you're speaking in English. Um, dos cervezas, por favor. 
<laughs> yeah, it seems he's doing fine. Diego just wrote in English. Um, anyways, guys, uh, I'm going to finish this lemon sour, and then we'll walk for just a little bit longer, okay? It's been a weird stream. I thought we were going to travel in time a lot faster and get into the park a lot faster. Uh, Aresilis, I don't know how to say your name, I'm sorry. Uh, take care, Corey. It's day for you and night for me. Okay, yeah, take it easy. Thanks for dropping by the stream. Uh, Matthew says, if you could only live in one of these countries for the rest of your life, Japan, Korea, or Vietnam? Uh, probably Japan. I lived in Korea for five years, or almost five years, but um, I, I grew up, I was born and raised in Japan, so this is much more familiar to me. Um... Yeah, I love I love both countries. It's it's really hard to choose actually, but um, I think just in general, like Japan is my home country, so I'm just like much more comfortable here. Even though I'm very comfortable in Korea as well, but um, yeah, this is the the home. This is the stomping grounds. Araselis de Jesus. Okay, I know the de Jesus part, but Araselis is that how you say it? Okay. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> I did not. I've I've never seen that name before. Have to go now to Corey. All right, take it easy, M. Palma. Addy says, "Oh, Shibuya Crossing is fun in peak of summer when it's hot, muggy, and sweaty." Ew. Doesn't sound good. But yeah, um, after I finish this, we'll walk around just a little bit longer in the forest, get you guys some nature into your living rooms and your bedrooms, and in your bed and maybe in your pants. A lot of wood around here, so you know, we gotta do what we can to help each other. Have a wonderful night. It's nice seeing you. Okay. Bye, I'm Palma. What you drinking? Uh, we're trying out this um, this lemon sour. I've never seen it before. I think it's new. We got this at 7-Eleven. But how you doing, Drew? Yeah, so we're just drinking this, and then we're going to continue walking around. Hardwood, softwood, regular wood, it's all around. It is not so much regular wood. It's just hard and soft. <laughs> is it really sour? No, not really at all. Um, even with the lemony taste to it, it's still a little sweet. Don't say those kinds of jokes while I'm eating. <laughs> what jokes? I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. I got a little overzealous with uh, pounding my drink. I spilled some on my crotch. Just getting beer in Ikebukuro Station. Oh, nice. Is it crowded down there? You almost choked on your pizza? Sorry, Ramsey. It's not a good way to go. You can see it in like his obituary. Died watching a live stream when Corey talked about <laughs> lots of wood. Yeah, come by, Drew. Come by. Isn't it good, Norwegian wood? <sighs> Norwegian wood. Ah, yes. So nice. Um, okay, hold on. Let me put let me put my barley tea back in my bag. I've got all my other stuff in the bag. There's no uh, trash receptacles around here, so I can just kind of hold on to this. <laughs> Corey, your videos are amazing. I know when you're walking in a Namde Moon. Oh, nice. Yeah. Have you been to Namde Moon? Namde Moon is a Corey, you've had some wood from Norwegia? Do tell. A boy does not tell. <laughs> Alright. Let's continue, guys. Let's go. Oh, God. Okay. Alright. Looks like I peed my pants, but it's okay. I'll just pee my pants and then pretend I spilled beer on it. Or, you know, a drink on it. Okay, let's look the other way, away from my ugly face. As long as you weren't the dude who burnt down Namde Moon Gate, oh yeah, in 2008 or whatever. That was stupid too. Just because he got fired and he was disgruntled. Yeah, when I moved to Korea, that was the year they reopened Namde Moon, and I lived right by it, so it was nice to see it every day on my bus ride. Um, I used to commute to work from Nam uh, Huehyeon Station which is uh, in Namde Moon Market. So, guys, 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 uh, you were there at the time? Dang, that sucks. Yeah.
Yeah, I would take the bus from uh, Hebangchon down the hill all the way to. Uh, I would take it to Namdaemun stop, like literally at the gate, and then walk to Huehean Station, and then uh, catch line two. No, wait, not not line two, line four, uh, the light blue line all the way to my work in northern Seoul. Uh, Adi says, "All right, kids, time to go to bed. Keep Corey entertained. Dewa mata, jane mata kondone." So let's go look at these space tits one more time, and then uh, we'll we'll venture around. So yeah, for those of you who are tuning in and you're just like, "What is Corey doing in a forest?" We actually uh, traveled back in time to the future to these uh, little space nipples. And there you have it, guys. This is uh, where the tribe Fembots, the Fembots were uh, from this little area. They evolved later on into the future, to the 60s, and uh, they were, you know, used in a battle against um, Austin Powers. But uh, this is their original stomping grounds. Fembot space nipple stomping grounds. All right. Go see what else is in this forest. There's more to this park that I've never been to on the other side, kind of near where we first came in. So yeah, man, this breeze feels so nice. Um, what do we got here? Uh, there's a board about like the different kinds of flowers here, I guess. It's kind of cool. Chat, you guys doing okay? Everybody having a good time? I'll probably stream just for maybe another 20, 30 minutes. Or actually, yeah, probably 20, 30 minutes because we're already at two and a half hours. Here's the prehistoric women's and men's restroom. As you can see, built by the Fembots. You're heading off Pixel? All right, take it easy. Everyone's heading out. No. You're heading off too? Dang, everyone's leaving? <laughs> okay, I guess I should leave, huh? Maybe I'll have to end my stream. Um, yeah, have a good night, Pixel and Danny. Take it easy. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the good laughs. You got an early morning tomorrow, I need to sober up. Uh, sober TF up. Yes, please. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. 85 of us still here. I know. I love you guys. You guys are coming with me. Great inspiration for Animal Crossing. It, it is. It's 10.30 p.m. there. Nice. Nice, nice. Hmm. I wish I could just go through this, but uh, I can't. I have to follow the, the trail. I got a crow. Memes reaction, how you doing? Welcome back to the stream. It's almost midnight in Michigan. What's up, Charles? So there's like a valley down here next to the road. <laughs> 8.30 p.m. in Arizona. Nice. This is so refreshing to be out here. All the fresh air. I hope you guys are enjoying this. How many of you are still locked down? I'm curious because I know there's some states they were like easing up on their restrictions. Uh, some countries have already eased up on all their restrictions because I know a lot of, of you guys live around the world. Um, Anella, you're still in lockdown? Okay, I hope this, uh, this stream helps you feel like you're in Jurassic Park. Ontario's on lockdown still. Rebecca, you're still in lockdown. Michigan is still kind of locked down. 
You're opening Dallas tomorrow? What? Florida reopened the beaches. Uh, still in Mass, Massachusetts. Yeah, the numbers are really bad. I, I saw a list of the top 10 states with infections and stuff and deaths. It's pretty crazy. Malaysia's still on lockdown, really? Wow. Looks a bit dangerous. It could be if I went down. Uh, AJ says, I'm getting married October 31st. Nice, Halloween. And we've decided to make a trip to Japan next year, if possible. Oh my God, AJ, that's awesome. Congratulations. If you do come to Japan to the Tokyo area, you gotta hit me up and go hang out if, uh, if things are okay. <laughs> you know, all things considered. Oh, I came back to the space nipples. What? Okay, that was a short little detour. Yeah, Diego, uh, I'm very sorry. No habla español. Chesonganida. Our city just sort of lifted lockdown today, but I'm still wary to go out, really. Yeah, please be safe, guys. We'll do, and yes, if everything isn't crazy, still for sure. Maybe you can show us around? Yeah. Let me show you some cool stuff. There's got to be a path that goes, I think, hold on, is there a path that goes down? There is a path that goes down. Alright, let's, let's take it. Lockdown until June. Yeah, Japan is supposed to be uh, currently on lock, not lockdown, there's no lockdown. Uh, state of emergency until May 6th, but uh, they're talking about extending to June 6th. And it's, it's not a, okay. I gotta go back this way. It's not a lockdown. It's just a state of emergency. Uh, Charles says, uh, I'm off. I need to be on standby for work tomorrow as a CNA as an assist, as, uh, at an assisted living center. Hey, thank you so much for uh, taking care of people. Please be safe and uh, get some sleep, okay? Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, Charles, is C he is a CNA. Definitely an essential worker. Wow. Some orders to wear masks, huh? Alright, let's go venture... You're okay, uh, Anella? Okay. Got your tongue twisted? <laughs> it happens, it happens. Yeah, take it easy, man. Have a good night. Be safe. family outing. Uh, I'm probably going to put my mask on because uh, I'm coming back out here again and I don't know. Just just precautionary measures. I'm going to put my mask on even though there's like nobody really here right now. Plus I social distance. Uh, sorry, one second. Okay, I got my mask on. I'm good to go. Not that these masks really do too much, but uh, better safe than sorry, right? Yeah, of the nature. The hillside is nice. Oh, nice. You guys are talking about the Philippines? Man, I gotta go there one day. 
I would love to go. I love, 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 love Filipino foods. Absolutely. <laughs> Danielle, I thought you were going to go to sleep, but I like that you're uh, speaking Spanish. I'm jealous. Must help a fellow Cory viewer in need. You're too kind, Danny. Ah, yes, we've arrived back at the lake. Oh, I saw some butterflies. Where's my net? Where's my net? So they got the azaleas and stuff out. Uh, I hope you're able to travel to Canada on June 1st. That's uh, one month from now. So hopefully you're able to do that. Um, the last time we streamed here in the fall, we actually went that way to the left. So I'm gonna go to the right this way. Sneaky Snake, how you doing? Uh, when are you gaming, Corey? Uh, maybe tonight on Twitch. People are speeding to avoid being caught outside. That's that's logic right there for you. Have you played Remake yet? Uh, no, I don't have PlayStation. I only have PC. So, uh, I mean, it depends on which remake are you talking about. Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 2, Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 8. Uh, <laughs> there's a there's a bunch of different remakes, so I'm assuming you mean Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, no, I, I don't have a uh, PlayStation. I only have PC and Switch. So unfortunately, I have to wait one year until it comes out on PC. Oh, sorry, remaster is eight. Yeah, sorry, not remake. Remaster is eight. There's these uh, storks, stork sculptures on these, uh, they look like real tree branches, but they're also made of metal. It's a sculpture. You play MMO? No. I used to play World of Warcraft for a very long time, like 13 years, but I quit last year. Or wait, I quit, yeah, I quit last year. Japan love their war sirens. No, it's just a fire truck. Can you remember the way back home? Oh yeah, very, no, no problem, no problem. I'm not that far from my house. Come back to WoW? No, 13 years, yeah, I played since the launch. My roommate was in the beta. When I was in art school, my roommate was in the uh, World of Warcraft beta for a long time. And then when it went live, uh, his guild was one of the top rated, actually is or was, uh, the top rating guild on the entire server. They had all the server first during uh, Vanilla and Burning Crusade. Like all the way up until Wrath of the Lich King when um, the server, uh, when the guild pretty much like went to a different server, they transferred. But my roommate was in that, and so he got me into it at launch. Yeah, they changed it a lot. Uh, I played BFA for a little bit, and then even Classic WoW for a little bit. But just uh, because of the whole thing with uh, Blizzard and Activision being asshole companies, and the whole thing with uh, Hong Kong and China, and it was just like, oh god, I just... I quit. I quit. I made them delete everything out of my account, all my info, everything. So I don't support Blizzard or Activision anymore whatsoever. 
And it sucks. I deleted 13 years of uh, WoW history. All my characters, everything, just deleted. Look at this. Yeah, AJ, me too. I, I think I started my, my account like the week after Vanilla went live. Yeah, Rich, uh, Jason. It definitely uh, destroyed a lot of people's lives, a lot of relationships. It's crazy. These ladies are like in the little stream. There's a duck. There's a duck. What's your Twitch name again? It's a The Cory TV. Oh man, I want to go in this little stream. It looks so nice. Grab him and then go get some oranges. Oh no. Corey in a stream during a stream, do it. It would be nice, right? This lady is over here in here. She's clearing out the, the edging of the, the str little stream. Man, I wish I could just like plop my butt right down here, but there's a, an ant crossing happening. Just like plant, put my feet in the water right here. It would be so nice. And just watch this duck eating. He's studying Korean, that's how he found your videos, and he loves watching your videos. Oh, thank you, Danny, for the translation. I wish I could speak Spanish. So that's very, very cool. There's some nice uh, green stuff here. The duck wants to watch you. Does he have a, an account? He should subscribe. So this area is really pretty, guys. It's really, really pretty. These the greenery with the flowers and stuff. Like this is just so nice. Uh, no, I mean, you might be tipsy, but I also did ask a, a duck to subscribe to the channel. Duck's gone wild. He should duck scribe. Yes, Rebecca, I love it, duck scribe. That's so beautiful. Public uh, restroom over there, and it looks like another uh, hill mountain forest path. But I think we did enough forest stuff like that in the hills. I'm gonna stick more to the the lakeside. This is nice. The Olympics. Oh, you mean 2021? Yeah, just come to Japan, anyways.
너무 바람 있어요. <웃음> 음. 너무 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 있어요. So I think we can go down to the water's edge. Let's walk on these little logs. The grass is your favorite shade of bright green. I know, it's like neon green, right? It's so nice. May 1st. Wow, so there's this little path. Uh, yeah, July 2021. Um, as long as uh, things uh, get better. But uh, people are starting to realize, like, if things don't get better, there's not going to be any Olympics. <laughs> Oh, you're following me on Twitch? Hey, thank you. I really appreciate that. Um, I'm gonna go over here real quick. Let's scope out the scene. It's a little bit marshy. Like, the, the land is soggy and it's starting to, uh, it's like walking on a sponge. It's too windy. Yeah, it is. That's what I said. No, 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 no. They're all waterlogged though. Can you really use something? Oh, there's, is that a fish? Oh, it's a turtle. What is he eating? Hold on. There's a turtle and he's tr he was like nibbling at something. Is that a dead fish? What is that? The shoreline is delicate, yeah. Very soggy, very moist. I can't tell what that white thing is. Is it trash or is it a dead fish? Because something's nibbling away at it, whatever it is. Um, is that a tiny house cabin in the distance? Oh no, over there, it's like a, it's like a pavilion thing. Um, you can actually walk out to it and just have a nice view of the lake. But, um, yeah, this is, uh, very beautiful. Is it a dead bird? I don't know. Like, I'm worried it's, like, some plastic trash, but it, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Like, I can't distinguish the shape. Anyways, let's, uh, try to continue this way. Oh, there's a woman walking here. I love this little brook, babbling brook. Okay, uh, let's continue walking and try not to fall into the lake. That's not a brook, that's a ditch. It's not a ditch. It's not a ditch. <laughs> wow. The wind, sorry. Look at these grasses though. The grass, sorry. I guess that the smell is so fresh. Yeah, it's very clean. Clean, fresh air right now on this walk. Someone needs a day in nature? Yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this was my goal today was to just try to find some nature spots. Some nature and just kind of come here and chill out share it with you guys that are, you know, on lockdown at home. Oh yeah, Caitlin, I, did, I, I was going to end it soon. <laughs> I was going to uh, end it relatively soon. But uh, yeah, we discovered this nice, nice park area. It's so good. Diego says, thank you very much for uh, your wishes. We will continue studying a lot. Oh, nice. 
find the air of the Yoshiokas under the spreading pine. Wow. May 1st, guys. May 1st. You were able to walk, but it just gets boring. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I walk a lot here, too, and ride my bike, but uh, in, in the Japanese residential areas, it's just kind of boring. It's like the same old homes over and over, and you're just like, all right. But this is nice. This is nice and refreshing. So pretty. Thank you for the stream. Oh, you're welcome, Caitlin. You're welcome, welcome. Uh, I see a mountain path over here. I'm gonna try to see, can we walk over there? Oh, you just typed that same thing that you just said in English, but in Japanese. Um, Two mile walks with seeing same old houses. Yeah, yeah. But luckily I can come to a, like a nice big park like this, not too far from my house. Okay, I gotta t I'm taking the mask off right now. There's just nobody here. Reminds me of a summer movie where the Ronin is walking along the deserted path with the wind in the grass and the enemy swordsman out, fan out. Oh, yeah. Some kind of Kurosawa stuff, huh? Reminds you of uh, Puerto Rico. Really? <laughs> then bad things happen. Okay, yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen. But, oh, this is so refreshing, guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll end the stream in maybe eight minutes, okay? We've been going for two hours, 53 minutes. So I think a nice, even three-hour stream is uh, pretty good. May 1st is Labor Day in the Philippines. It seems strange to have holidays now since most everyone is not working. Yeah, that is kind of strange, right? I like you taking us out to go out of uh, doors. Canada's on lockdown too. Yeah. Oh. It. I just did a loop. Well. There's that. Uh, okay. You're waiting for Michonne or Daryl to emerge from the trees and uh, ambushing. They're hiding. They're gonna jump me. Uh, Fox Mulder, you're heading out. Alright, take it easy, Fox. Nice stream. Have a great weekend. See you next week. Yeah, see you next time. Take it easy, Fox. Alright, so I just did a loop. I didn't realize that that was going to be a loop. Uh, let's just head back out, and then uh, I'll end the stream further, uh, further up. Further up. So we came from that way on the right, so let's go left. Yo, what's up, lady? You've been lurking for 30 minutes? I know, you're a lurker. You're a pro lurker. <laughs> How you doing? Corey, this place reminds me of uh, Bariloche in the south of Argentina. Oh, really? That's cool. I want to go to Argentina. Linda says, thank you, Corey. Please stay healthy. Oh, I will, definitely. Let's we'll see. Can I go this way? Oh, this way is closed off.
128 likes, getting closer to 200. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get to that. We have only five minutes left on the stream. Uh, well, then I am out. It's hard to get. Oh, you're talking about military. Oh, oh. Yeah, I don't know the, the standards now. Hope you're good too. Yeah, uh, doing good. I have a, I have I think two online lessons later tonight, maybe three. Um, yeah, just barely working these days. It's so sad. But uh, you know, staying positive, staying home. But uh, also, you know, getting out to nature like this when I can and stream it for you guys. Sorry, chat. Let's see, why is there smoke up ahead? What is going on there? What are they saying? Uh, Anna, um, I couldn't understand fully really what she was saying. I also kind of stopped listening. <laughs> oh, is that mist? Yeah, sorry, it's very windy right now. I'm going to put my mask on since uh, there's people up ahead. Nice view, yeah? Not a tiny, tiny house at all. Nope. There's a kind of a community center over here, educating children about like the birds and the plants and stuff that live here. Um, that thing just shot a bunch of mist out here. Now it stops now that I got closer. get out of this park I have to actually go this way. And back towards where I came from. There's just families out, people blowing bubbles, kids playing in the the little streams here. Like, uh, it's yeah, we're, we're approaching the three hour mark. Okay guys, uh, I think that was a good stream, uh, even though it was very weird. Uh, things unfolded very strangely during this stream, um, but we were able to get food and we were able to come and see the prehistoric space nipples. 
Um, I don't know what else to call them except for that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, I hope you guys are all taking care, staying safe. Appreciate all the super chat donations. Everybody giving the video a thumbs up. Um, if you're watching the recorded version of this, I hope you made it this far. Um, but very nice walk. Very beautiful day. Very, very beautiful day. It's May 1st. Um, Rebecca is still here. Thank you so much. Adios, amigo. Yeah, guys, please, please stay safe at home. Bye, Corey. Thanks for the stream. You're welcome, memes. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Um, the next stream might not be a full three hours. I might just do an hour and a half or something like that. And that way I can do more streams each week instead of one three hour. I can do like two one and a half hour streams. Something like that. So, anyways guys, please take care. Give the video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you all later. Much love. Please stay safe. Please stay home. Alright guys, take it easy. Bye!